Hi guys, today I tried connecting an MSP430 microcontroller with an LCD via a shift register. So in my previous video, I've already used an MSP430 with an LCD in 4-bit mode and wherein I have used 6 pins from the microcontroller that is for RS, Enable, D4, D5, D6 and D7. So if you want to know more about the 4-bit mode, then do check out that video which is already there on my channel and it is either linked at the top or towards the end of this video. Now in this project, um, the number of pins has been reduced to half, that is uh, just 3 pins have been used for data clock and RS of the shift register. With just three port pin required, uh, port pins required, this project can can be implemented when there's a constraint on the number of pins that are available here in the microcontroller. So if you have less number of pins available here for utilization, then you can go for a shift register and just three pins. That's it. So here uh, I have used a 74HC595 shift register, which is a serial in parallel out register and both the clocks for shift register that is uh, I think the latch clock and uh, the, uh, the other clock are sourced by a single MSP430 port pin and uh, the RS, D4, D5, D6, D7 pins are connected from the shift register to the LCD. Mm. The read write pin of the LCD is grounded as we just want to write and the LCD enable pin is controlled by the, uh, sorry, by the microcontroller. So let's see a demo of this particular project. I'll just switch on the power. And as you can see, there's nothing fancy going on here. The LCD is again used in 4-bit mode. But with a little tweak in the hardware, as you can see that we've used the shift register and not used it directly, so reducing the number of pins required. And important changes are done in the software part, basically, to just show you the same um, thing loaded on the LCD. So if you want to see the circuit diagram and other details regarding this project, then check the description box below for the blog URL where I have uploaded all the stuff. and. Comment with your email ID if you would like to see or have the access to the code as well. And uh, if you want to see more such content, then simply subscribe to the channel and follow my blog and this channel for other projects related to embedded systems. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Thank you.